page 92. Okay, and our last head word was confidential, numeric type of question. Okay, so let's start with revision. Okay. Okay, so let me just scroll down. Okay, yeah. Okay, here we go. First question. Okay. Yes. What do we mean by a written report? What do we mean by a written report? By a written report, we mean a, a highly report. organized we document a highly written organized for document. a specific person written or group of people person that provides information on a particular situation or event. A particular situation or event. What writing style should we use in a report? What writing style should we use in a report? We should use a formal and impersonal style in writing a report. What are two common ways of starting a report? What are two common ways of starting a report? Two common ways of starting a report are by using a title or by using two from and subject lines as in an email. As, a, as in an email. Wagged, what's the point of having an executive summary at the beginning of a report? What's the point of having an executive summary at the beginning of a report? The point of having the an executive of summary having at the beginning of a report at the is that of it a prepares report. people is that the, to read the report in detail read the report and provides in important information and provide important for information people who might not read the whole report. Not read the whole report. In the introduction section, what sort of information should we include? In the introduction section, what sort of information should we include? In the introduction section, in the introduction section we should include the reasons include for the report, the, the, report the aim of the report, how information for the report was obtained, etc. Very good. How can we make it clear to the reader what each section of a report is about? How can we make it clear to the reader what each section of a report is about? We can make it clear we can make to it the reader what each reader section of our report is about, report is about by using headings by and using subheadings. subheadings. Greg, should the main paragraph of our report focus on facts or give our own personal opinions? Should the main paragraph of our report focus on facts or give our own personal opinions? The main paragraph, the main paragraph of our report Focus on facts. Focus on facts. So why? So where do we normally write our own opinions? Where do we normally write our own opinions? We normally write, we normally write our, write own, opinions our own opinions at the, end. at the end. What else do we often put at the end? What else do we often put at the end? We often put we often recommendations, put recommendations at, the end. at the end. If a report is long or complex, how might we change the introduction section? If a report is long or complex, how might we change the introduction section? If a report is if long, a report or complex, long or complex, we might separate, we might the, separate introduction the introduction into two sections, into two sections. Terms, of terms of reference, giving the reason for the report, the report and the aim of the report, and, the of and the report. procedure. Procedure, saying how information saying how for the information report was obtained, etc. Et well, what else might a long or complex report include? What and what else might a long or complex report include? A long or complex long report or a complex includes report a, table a table of contents at the start and some appendices at the end. Very good. Which department would you contact to get software update or new hardware installed at work? Which department would you contact to get software update or new hardware installed at work? I'd contact the IT, contact department, the IT department to get software to updated get software or new hardware new installed hardware at work. Installed at work. Very good. Give me an example of the idiom in the loop. Give me an example of the idiom in the loop, please. There's not much point. Asking Simon about the project. Omar, there's not much point asking Simon about the project. There's not much point. There's not much point. There's not much point. 
There is not much point. Asking Simon about the project. Asking Simon He's about the project. He's not really in the loop. He's not really in the loop. Very good. Why is a worker's net income smaller than their gross income? Why is a worker's net income smaller than their gross income? A worker's net income a is smaller income than their gross income than their gross because income net income because is the money that remains the money after that tax remains and other tax necessary tax payments and other necessary have been payment deducted have from, been the gross income. from the gross income. Very good. Okay. Next. Give me an example of the phrase best practice. Give me an example of the phrase best practice, please. When planning its development of the when new airport, the government followed the airport, best practice the in every stage. Best practice in every stage. Very good. Okay, next, let me check. Okay, there we go. Confidential. Why is it a good idea to read an email thread carefully before forwarding the email to someone? Why is it a good idea to read an email thread carefully before forwarding the email to someone? It's a good idea to read an email thread carefully before forwarding the email to someone so you can remove unimportant or confidential information and comments you don't want the person to read. Very good. Okay, and that's the end of our revision. Let's have new work. Okay, so okay. Yeah. let's start. Repeat markup. Markup. Profit margin. Um, profit margin. Very good. Okay, listen. By the term markup, we mean the difference between the total cost involved in making a product and the product selling price. Markup is expressed as a percentage or the total cost. So if the total cost are six pounds and the selling price is nine pounds the markup is 50 percent by the terms profit margin we mean the same thing except that profit margin is expressed as a percentage of the selling price so with total cost at six pounds and the selling price is down pounds the profit margin is about 33 percent okay so let's practice if the total cost involved in making a product amount to 400 pounds and the selling price is 500 pounds, what's the total markup? If the total cost involved in making a product is 400 pounds and the selling price is 500 pounds, what's the markup? If the total cost involved in making a product amount to 400 pounds and the selling price is 500 pounds, the markup is 25%. The markup is twenty five percent. And what's the profit margin? What's the profit margin? The profit margin is twenty percent. The profit margin is twenty percent. Very good. Next, repeat. Delegate. Delegate. Logistics. Provision. Logistics. Be snowed Provision. under. Be snowed under. Very good. Okay, listen. The word delegate is a noun. It means a representative to a convention or conference. Logistics is a noun. It means the things that must be done and organized. A complicated activity or event that involves many people. Provision is a noun. It means providing something that someone needs. For example, if I were in charge of logistics for a conference attended by international delegates, I'd have to organize transport from the airport to the accommodation, transport to the conference venue, the provision of food and drinks at the venue, etc. Be snowed under. If you are snowed under, you have too much work to deal with. For example, when a senior member of staff is not under, they can take some of the pressure off themselves. Okay, very good. Let's break this. If you're in charge of logistics for a conference attended by international delegates, what would you have to organize? If you were in charge of logistics for a conference attended by international delegates, 
What would you have to organize if I were in charge, I were of, in logistics charge of logistics for a conference for attended a conference by international delegates? By international delegates? I'd have to organize have to transport organize from the airport from to, the airport accommodation, to the accommodation, transport to the conference, transport venue, to the conference venue, the provision of food, the provision of food and drinks, at the venue, etc. Et when, when a senior member of staff is known under, how can they take some of the pressure off themselves? When a senior member of staff is known under, how can they take some of the pressure off themselves? When a senior member a senior of staff is known under, is no, they can under, take some of the pressure they, off. Can, uh, more. When a senior member when a senior of member, staff is known the under, is, uh, they under, can take some can take of the some pressure of the themselves, pressure of themselves by, by delegating certain tasks certain task to other people. To other people. Very good. Next, repeat. Distribute. Uh, distribute. Distribution. Distribution. Distribution channel. Uh, dis distribution channel. Very good. Okay, listen. Distribute is a verb. It means to give or deliver something to people. Distribution is the noun of the verb to distribute. Distributing goods is the process of moving them from the producer to the final consumer. The distribution channel is the way the goods reach the final consumer. For example, from a factory to a wholesaler, then to a retailer, and finally to a consumer. Let's practice. When choosing a method of transport for the distribution of its product, what should a business consider? When choosing a method of transport for the distribution of its product, what should a business consider? When choosing a method when choosing of transport, a method of transport the distribution or of the its product. Distribution, uh, um, when choosing a method when choosing of a transport, method, for the, the distribution for the of distribution its products, of its product, a business should consider business things should consider such things as cost, such as speed, cost how reliable speed, the method how reliable of transport is, method of, uh, how reliable method of transport is, of transport is etc. etc. Okay. What do we mean by distribution channel? What do we mean by distribution, by channel? distribution channel? By a distribution, by a channel, distribution channel, we mean the way the goods, the way reach, the goods the final consumer. reach the final consumer. For example, For example from a factory, from a factory to, a wholesaler, to a wholesaler, then on to a retailer, on to a retailer and finally to the, and consumer. Finally to the consumer. Very good. Next repeat. Brainstorm. Um, brainstorm. Spontaneous. Uh, spontaneous session session we are going to listen brainstorm means a situation where a group of people is spontaneously thinking of and suggesting ideas usually to deal with a business issue for example we need a brainstorming session to get fresh ideas for our next marketing campaign spontaneous is an adjective it is something done or said in a natural and often sudden way and without a lot of thought or planning. Session is a noun. It is a period of time that is used to do a particular activity. Okay, let's practice. What do we mean by brainstorming? What do we mean by brainstorming? By brainstorming, by bra brainstorming we mean a situation, mean a situation where, a group of people where a group of people is spontaneously is thinking, spontaneously thinking and, and suggesting ideas, suggesting ideas usually to deal usually with a business issue. With a business issue. Give me an example. Give me an example, please. We need a brainstorming need session a brainstorming to get fresh ideas. Oh, we, need we need a brainstorming need session, a brainstorming to, session get to get fresh ideas for our next marketing campaign. Next marketing campaign. Very good. Next repeat. Audit. Audit. Auditor. Auditor. Accounts. Accounts. Inspect. Inspect. Inspection. Inspection. Internal. Internal. External. External. Governance. Governance. Very good. Okay, listen. 
An audit is a formal inspection of a company's accounts, records, and procedures to ensure that these are adequate and correct. Auditors provide a report on what they discover. Audits can be either internal or external. Let's look firstly at internal audits. An internal audit usually inspects financial so accounts inspect financial and other accounts, records, and, the other and this records, kind of audit is normally kind of performed by accountants or auditors accountant or who audit. are employed by the company, by the company being, audited. being audited. An internal audit can identify weaknesses in the business, weaknesses such as business areas business. where there's an excessive risk excessive or where opportunities risk. for fraud exist. However, internal audits can also focus on operational procedures, governance, internal controls, health and safety, etc. A health and safety audit, for example, would be carried out by the health and safety specialist. Let's practice. Which areas of a business does an internal audit usually inspect? Which areas of a business does an internal audit usually inspect? An internal audit usually inspects a business financial account and other records, but can also cover operational procedures, governance, internal controls, etc. Who normally performs an internal audit? Who normally performs an internal audit? Accountants or auditors who are employed by the company normally perform an internal audit. What does an auditor's report usually reveal? What does an auditor's report usually reveal? An auditor's report usually reveals whether records are adequate and correct and identifies weaknesses in the business, such as areas where there's an excessive risk or where opportunities for fraud exist. Very good. Okay, now let's look at external audits. So external audits are performed by specialist accounting firms. They report on whether a company is meeting its statutory financial obligations and inform shareholders whether the company's financial statements are adequate and correct. In many countries, large companies are obliged by law to have an external audit done each year. Okay, let's practice. What's the main purpose of an external audit? What's the main purpose of an external audit? The main purpose. Of an the external main audit of an is to report audit on whether to a company is meeting its statutory financial obligations and to inform shareholders whether the company's financial statements are adequate and correct. Are large companies in your country obliged by law to have an external audit? of their financial statements carried out each year are large companies in your company obliged by law to have an external audit of their financial statement carried out each year yes or no uh, yes large companies in large my companies country are in obliged my company, by law uh, obliged to have law an external audit an external of their audit financial statements of their financial carried out uh, each year statement. Carried out each year. Carried out each year. Very good. Okay, next repeat. Appraisal. Appraisal. Very good. Okay, here we go. Appraisal. Okay, listen. Appraisal is a noun. It means an opinion about how successful, how effective something or someone is. Let's practice. Do you think most employees view their annual appraisal as a source of valuable feedback or a waste of everyone's time? Do you think most employees view their annual appraisal as a source of valuable feedback or a waste of everyone's time? I think most, I think employees, most employees view their annual appraisal, view their annual as, appraisal as a source or waste of time. Source or waste of time. Omar, I think most employees, most employees view their annual appraisal, view their annual appraisal as a source of valuable feedback. Uh, oh, okay. As a source of variable feedback. Oh, okay. Very good. Okay. Next. 
Show of hands. Show, show of hands. Ballot. Uh, ballot. Unanimous. Unanimous. Consensus. Consensus. Very good. Uh, deadlock. Deadlock. Casting vote. Uh, casting vote. Very good. Okay, listen. Show of hands is a noun. It is an occasion when people in a room vote by putting their hands up. For example, it's probably not appropriate in a meeting to vote by show of hands in circumstances where the decision is sensitive, such as a vote to elect someone from among the participants in the meeting. Okay, but we stop there for today. Let's move on to reading. Okay, yeah. Okay, so our reading is at page 58. Last headword was retail. Okay, please start at page 60. What should we say in the conclusion letter? What should we say? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, what, what should we say in the conclusion to the letter? Uh, in the conclusion to the letter, we should thank the company for considering our application and mention our availability uh, for interview. Mm -hmm. 61. 61. 